Hi, I'm Joy Santos. I'm an exercise science major, junior, and I'm from Reading, Pennsylvania, about an hour outside of Philly. Just want to talk a little bit about how track is going. We competed at Miami last week. It was a it was a D1 meet. There's some a lot of great schools there. Um, the girls competed well. It was it was kind of exciting to see how well how well we competed against some bigger schools. Um, let's see. Shout out to Katie Lampier. She PR'd in the 400 meter hurdles. She shaved like two seconds off. So that was great. And um, for our 4x1 relay, actually, um, some of the girls in our relay have been trying to get, um, get the 4x1 and 4x4 records. And Miami meet was, um, was the perfect meet to do that. So our coach let us take it easy and not really run a lot of the open races as we normally do. So Lex and I just just relaxed and did the 4x1 and 4x4 and um, we are a second from the 4x1 record. We shaved off a little bit of time um, at Miami and I don't know, I'm thinking that maybe we should change the, we always say, when, when we're passing the baton, we're going to say trick, but we're thinking maybe instead we'll say like, like rapido or something like that, I don't know, but for our 4x4, that was the highlight of the, of the whole meet, um, it was last event, as usual, and we hadn't done anything except the 4x1 before, and our girls were pumped up, it was Katie Lampier, Alexa Winnick, and Christina Gall, and I, and um, we each had to shave off about at least two seconds of our time what we ran last week or the week before at Cedarville's meet. But um, Alexa ran the first leg and once we saw that she ran about a, fit, a high 55, we, we, knew we, could, we knew we could come close. We knew we could shave off a lot of our, our time. So the time we needed was 3.49 and um, at Cedarville's meet we ran 3.59 but at Miami we ran 3.50 it was great <laughs> but I don't know it was exciting coach is going to give us another try at it um, at OIC's next Friday we have this weekend off so it'll be a good time to recoup and um, the Season's coming to an end in a few weeks, but we're all excited to um, to peak any day now at, th at these meets. So we have six seniors graduating this year. I'm really gonna miss them. They've they've been a lot of fun and they've been great getting to know. Most of them are our captains, um, and uh, they they led our team well. I really respect them for that and. Um, Postseason, we have we don't have nationals this year because we're moving to NCAA for next year, NCAA Division Two, and um, so we have conferences next Friday to look forward to and NCCs the weekend after that, or I'm sorry, graduation weekend, and so that should be fun. I think since everyone is going to be here, um, including the seniors for um, OICs. We're gonna try and win that conference title. NCCs, we have a um, we have some seniors that are gonna stick, stick around and graduate, get their diplomas. So we're gonna miss them, but it's it's been a it's been a great great year. And um, and yeah, thanks for watching the track vlog.